hey there uh, i'm back uh, so i'm back with a new project so in the last uh, uh, project what we did was the github readme creator right so this is going to be very exciting and a very lot of learning a uh, project for uh, all of you guys as well as for me too so the uh, the project that we're going to build is titled your avatar so this is nothing but given a uh, 10 to 20 images of yourself and uh, feed it to the uh, dream booth model then uh, we're going to build a customized model for that and then later on whatever the prompt you ask and whatever the uh, image you wanted in the shape you just give it it will generate based on the your images which you have fed okay so i think enough talking so let me show you the application that we're going to build okay so yeah you see here this is the application that we are going to be building okay your avatar so this is the thing and this is how the landing page looks like okay so this is the uh, hero thing uh, okay. this is everything we are going to build it from scratch again as I, we did for the github readme creator so this is how uh, the uh, your images looks like once you build your customized model okay and this is the sample of uh, uh, images that were generated based on the prompt that, that we have given uh, and after having uh, trained the model with uh, 10 to 20 images uh, sample images okay and this is the step that i uh, know how this step we are going to describe the steps that should be followed in order to achieve this uh, uh, image transformations okay uploading then uh, waiting for the model to get trained and then use your uh, own prompt or uh, the helper prompts that we're going to provide so that you can generate okay and this uh, this is not going to be free i mean uh, you can i mean we are going to build i'm going to give you all the information as i can to build your own application and do it on your own but since uh, we are going to use here the replicate that replicate does charges for us to train the dream booth uh, customized model so that is the reason i am charging it or else no need uh, i was uh, i had no intention of charging it okay so yeah so this is the home page now if you go uh, for the uh, prompts page this is the example prompts that uh, we will be listing in this page like uh, given this prompt how the image was generated so you see uh, this was the image generated given this prompt okay and uh, so if you go again into this uh, prompt uh, particular character prompt page you see this is the uh, image that was generated for the uh, different character so this was for uh, one character and this was for another character okay then we had the facility to copy prompt and then use prompt directly and then the more uh, the prompts that were uh, more prompts help uh, that were generated and the images that we got okay this is the individual prompt helper page and you see this is the character just the fictional characters to showcase the for the users uh, the way this can be used okay this is uh, a character named Romy and this is uh, Saka okay now so this is the uh, this prompts page okay fine so this was the prompts page and also we are uh, going to so if you go back to our home page so this is where we have this uh, terms and privacy page and if you want to details and the frequently asked questions also we are going to build and we're going to give the, the link to our github uh, code of this uh, project and also uh, the everything okay so fine so now uh, this is the simple uh, the uh, things which will be accessed to a non logged in user okay so now if you go to the login page okay this is like a send magic link so given your url we're going to send the ur uh, the login link to the e ur email and then using that you can get started okay let's say that now i'm going to give this my email okay and then uh, i'm going to so now the sign in link has been sent to your gmail okay so now if i go and see to my uh email you see here i got this i got this mail okay so now i am going to use this to sign in so if i if i click if you click on this you would be uh, automatically logged into this application so as soon as you uh, uh, logged in so the things now that would be opened for the logged in users is this start creating now button and also here you will see the my gallery dashboard and then logout button okay so if you go and click on this start uh, creating now 
this is the dashboard page that you will be uh, prompted to okay so he, he, this is where you're going to create your new studio the clear and set of instructions to get started everything is written here so you just have to upload 10 to 20 pictures of yourself and then uh, then you will have the uh, studios ready okay so let me log into this uh, uh, the um, application which i already created studio so here usually so once you pick these uh, images let's say uh, this this is one image just i'm going to showcase you the example okay so this is how you, you have to upload minimum of uh, five photos and this i have used for just for debugging i had some problem i'll be removing this one okay so this is how uh, we, we have to upload the pictures okay so now let me log in with the email uh, which i have already created uh, some sample studios for that okay so let me use that mail uh, so i'm going to use this okay and then go back here change to my account this one okay and here i got this fine yeah so now so we are in this uh, new studio so the usual way you have to upload pictures of it and then start creating so here i've created a two studios this studio and this i'm going to show you see once you uh, see this would take a uh, 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 time of 20 to 30 minutes to train your uh, model once you uploaded the pictures so this was already created so now if i go and see uh, the view my studio this is the studio page there's stuff for particular studio uh, of yours page looks like okay this the name of yours and how many shots are left to generate images of your things and this is where you can go and ahead and use the prompts okay and generate the images according to it okay and we are going to uh, facilitate for the prompt assistant as well so you see here the default examples i have showed this is how you can directly make use of them so if you click on this this prompt associated with that image would be used here okay this is how we are going to use okay and also i have the support here let's say that you want to generate a uh, image of uh, iron man character so if you just uh, type uh, iron man the prompt uh, also will be generated for you according to the keyword that you give and uh, then you can use that to generate the image okay let's see now this i have given the error as iron man so this behind the scenes again we are go we are using the open ai, AI uh, the text completion api to generate the prompt for us okay so here you see here okay so this prompt let's use this and see what is it the image that would be generating for us okay uh, the image okay so and also this is the images that were generated with this uh, um, prompt okay if you see here uh, the we can see the zoom in sections and also we have the options to download okay and also if you uh, add it to your gallery you can see in the gallery sections okay these are all the images that were generated and also this is going to be very huge guys and also you can use image as model as well so let's say that you know reference images you know you don't want to type your uh, prompt and then generate but you can use the reference image and then uh, ask it to generate according to that reference image okay that is also possible here okay now this is generating and also as i said if you uh, press here to add it to your gallery immediately you can see that reflecting in your gallery okay so this these are the uh, images added to your gallery okay like this so this is the thing we are going to build okay this is going to be very exciting uh, trust me a lot of learnings okay we are going to use aws s3 to upload the images you're seeing here right right, right away and uh, the dream booth model so that we're going to use the replicate uh, uh, the re replicate apis that we're going to use and also for ui designing we're going to use the chakra ui and again for uh, building the whole application and handling the apis part we're going to use the nextjs and page router mm -hmm. and for database we're going to use postgresql okay so this is going to be a huge learning for both of us and and uh, this gives us a lot of idea how to build an application from scratch and uh, yeah uh, it is going to be really exciting so this is what i want to showcase you guys and this is uh, the end output that we're going to build okay from next video onwards i'm going to start from scratch uh, right from installing dependencies right from uh, starting the project and how the application flow that should be written okay so right from database model schema designing to the uh, designing the api endpoints and then uh, componently structuring our ui components and then segregating the uh, uh, 
components okay as i mentioned okay so this is very exciting i learned a lot while i was building so you i hope you guys will also learn a lot while building this okay yeah so uh, let's wait for this image i learn to generate and see what is this going to be okay so meanwhile uh see uh, this is the form so again if you switch the character you see the immediately the reflection of the, the characters respectively images are going to be generated okay and uh, yeah uh, so as i said okay if you view you can use this form okay you can so you, you can use that form you can use this prompt and you can copy this prompt okay and also if you want to uh, the other pictures uh, references if you click on it you will be re redirected to that particular page okay so this is how it's going to be and uh, it's going to be really exciting okay so now let's see if the image is generated or not so usually it takes time so let's see how long it's going to take uh, hopefully it should be generated so let me open this in the different tab okay this sometime happens this is nothing to worry about it will take little time so let's wait okay and uh, if you click on this download you'll be able to download this and go on save images whatever you want and uh, do the thing and save it to your uh, library okay so that is what and also you can uh, reuse the style for this okay if you uh, see if you want to here uh, you can use the reuse and then write again the new addition of ROMs that you wanted to and then click on shoot okay so this is going to be a very uh, exciting application so you can once you generate the images that you want you can use wherever you want uh, in uh, in your own applications okay yeah so i don't know why it's taking this much time usually this will not take this much time but let's wait i'm gonna wait not a problem okay meanwhile so did i miss anything i'm gonna check okay it's my gallery and this prompts page and uh, this is the dashboard page okay fine mm -hmm okay and here again you have the option uh, to increase your so if you want to buy more shots you can go ahead and buy so this is just i have not updated the prices here so i'll do this okay you can go ahead and sh choose how many shots more you want and accordingly you would be uh, paying so this is not for me again as i said this is for uh, replicate model uh, that is going to charge us and uh, as i said that is going to take 20 to 30 minutes of uh, training for that they're charging the uh, huge am I mean, amount so that's why you, you're being charged so i will uh, i would not be okay fine mm. yeah this is pretty much uh, so let me hold on okay uh, if you see here uh, the image generated was this since our uh, prompt was uh, uh, vague so that is the reason uh, this image was generated but if it's uh, the things as I said the helper provided for this using this prompt assist you would be in a good position to generate the images uh, needed and it will be generating exactly the way you wanted okay so this is it the intro uh, peak for of this application from next video onwards we'll start building it from scratch stay tuned thank you